How to Model Ultrasonic Sensors in TINA Arduino is an open source platform for building electronics projects. It consists of an open source hardware called Arduino Board and an integrated development environment, IDE software, to write the MCU control code in a simplified version of C++. Then compile and upload the code to the board. TINA and TINA Cloud provide an extensive support for Arduino. You can simulate, debug, and bring your design to life in a mixed circuit environment before uploading it to the board. First, download and install the latest Arduino program from the Arduino website. Set the Arduino path in TINA as follows before using Arduino for the first time. Click on the Analysis menu on the toolbar. Select Options. Press the Advanced button in the Analysis Options window. Next, click the Select Arduino Path button in the Advanced Options window and select Arduino. Press the OK button. Press OK again to close the Advanced Options display window. Now click OK to close the Analysis Options window. Now create the circuit using the schematic editor of TINA. Click the Insert button to invoke the Insert menu, then select Macro. Open the Arduino Nano.tsm. Press Open. The Arduino Nano board will be attached to your cursor. Place it wherever you wish in the workspace. Next, select the ultrasonic sensor from the Meters toolbar and place it. Select the Digital High Source from the Sources toolbar and place it. Next, select the LED from the Optoelectronic toolbar and place it. Select the resistor from the Basic toolbar. Add two voltage pins using the Meters toolbar. Next, connect the components with wire to the Arduino Nano board, as shown in the video. Finally, select two grounds from the basic toolbar and add them to the circuit. Rename a few labels, as shown next. First, change label 1 to Sensor. Click the label. The Properties dialog window will appear. Enter Sensor in the Label field. Then press OK. Next, rename VF1 to Trig colon 1 and VF2 to Echo. Change the default value of R1 to 220 ohm. Double click R1. Enter in the resistance field 220 then press OK. Now load and compile the Arduino code. Double click the Arduino Nano board, then press the Enter Macro button. The ATmega328P underscore 32 MCU used in Arduino Nano appears. Double click on the MCU. Click the three dots button in the C code field. Then click the C project button in the MCU input file selection window. Click the add existing file to project icon in the MCU IDE window. Then select the previously downloaded sensor.ino file and press open. Note that sensor.ino is included in the TINA examples slash microcontrollers slash Arduino folder inside the ultrasonic sensor nano.tsc circuit file. Now compile the code. Click the project button in the MCU IDE window and select compiler options. In the C compiler settings window, make sure Arduino is selected, then press OK. Next, click on the make project button. When the Compile Successful message appears, press the Save Project button. Close the MCU IDE window, then press OK to close the MCU Input File Selection window as well. Click OK to close the Enter Macro window. Save the file using the File Save command 
and enter ultrasonicsensor.tsc in the name field. This will be the name of the circuit file we will create. Next, click the Save button. You can also use the Save icon on the toolbar. Click the Close icon on the toolbar to close the macro. Now let's check how the model is operating. Select Transient Mode with the narrow Select Interactive Mode button on the toolbar. Press the TR button. The LED lights up. This means that the sensor detects when the distance of the target is equal to 10 centimeters. If we make the distance longer or shorter than 10 centimeters, the LED light doesn't turn on. Let's try this and see. First, change the distance value to 11 centimeters, then press the TR button. Release the TR button and change the distance value to 9. Press the TR button again. The LED remains dark in both cases. Until now, the sensor has detected targets at a distance of 10 centimeters only. Now let's change the code in such a way that the sensor can detect targets at any distance up to 10 centimeters. To do so, we just need to make a small change in the C code. In the MCU IDE window, under Turn the LED on if the sensor measures the specified distance. Change equal to 10 to less than or equal to 10. Recompile the code. And save the changes. Close the MCU IDE window and the Properties window. Save the changes. Then close the macro Change the distance value to 5, then click OK. Press the TR button. The LED light turns on. We can also check the sensor operation using another value below 10, say 9. Let's enter a number greater than 10, say 20. The LED light does not turn on. Finally, re-enter the original distance value, 10, and press the TR button again. The LED lights up as expected. To see the generated waveform, run Transient Analysis from the Analysis menu. Change the end display value to 1 millisecond, then press OK. After the simulation ends, the diagram window appears. The distance can be also calculated from the echo waveform using the formula S equals T times 340 divided by 2, where T is the duration of the echo in seconds, 340 meters per second is the speed of the sound in the air. You can get T from the diagram by placing two cursors on the waveform, and you will get 589 microseconds for the duration of the echo. Substituting T into the formula, the distance is 10 centimeters. You can get further explanation of this calculation at the following link. This concludes our demonstration of modeling an ultrasonic sensor circuit. For more information, visit our website, atina.com. Visit our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash tinadesignsuite.